Hey everybody, it's Pet Talk Tuesday and uh, today's pet will not let you down. Let me tell you, we've got Zoe here from the Buffalo Animal Shelter, courtesy of Dustin Yerman, our faithful uh, volunteer. <laughs> he even goes out in this weather to help out. And we have local vet, Dr. Lucas Candifer, who is here to talk about maybe something that may have happened to your pet, hip dysplasia. So good morning, everybody. Nice to have you Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Zoe is a sweetheart, Dustin. Oh, Tell yeah. us about Zoe. Zoe is about a year and a half old. She is some sort of spaniel mix, best guess, maybe a little shepherd or who knows. But mm -hmm. you know, it's not important. A lot she's, of cute things. Yes. yes. All the, the good, good stuff in there. Yeah, she's a uh, good size. Yeah, she's probably only about 20, 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. She's a young dog. She's super friendly, <laughs> as you can see. She loves to make new friends. She's mm -hmm. very energetic and playful. And you know, she just make a great home for a lot of different people. But yes. again, being a young dog, she's gonna need some energy and some playtime. Mm -hmm. um, but she's so sweet and lovable and that face is just gorgeous, like supermodel of a dog right there. And if you can come on down today, I know we're it's a open today, crazy. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, till well, today's Tuesday, so we're open till three, mm -hmm. and then tomorrow we're open till seven for uh, you know, permitting all weather emergencies. Right. But uh, we have lots of every shape and size you can think of waiting for you. So it's a great time to adopt, it especially is. And you want to keep someone company and when you're going to be home alone That's in this right. cold weather. Hey, they make the bed nice and warm. Huh. Let me tell, tell you. me about it. <laughs> you lose some space, but it's worth it. Yeah. All right. This is Zoe, everybody, waiting for you over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Dr. Candifer, hip dysplasia, what type of dog is prone to that? So when we talk about that condition, we, we typically think of uh, golden retrievers, German shepherds. They're two of the most common breeds mm -hmm. that, are, that are prone to it. And a really common misconception is that hip dysplasia equals pain, yeah. that it's something that dogs develop. Mm -hmm. It's really something that is it's a genetic mm. issue. So especially in our purebred population, it is more prone in those breeds because unfortunately it's become part of that uh, genetic heritage. Uh -huh. When we're talking about that condition, really what it means is that your, the joint doesn't form properly. So instead of having a nice tight joint, you've got a loose wobbly joint and you see that hip move around in there and that's what causes the arthritis to happen a lot quicker. That's what causes the pain much earlier mm. in, in their life. And that's something that your veterinarian can help you manage that pain. There are some things early on that you can do. So identifying that with a, with a young pet, um, but knowing if you are getting a purebred dog, you wanna make sure that those- Now, if you're looking to buy a purebred dog from a breeder, aren't there tests they can do on the parents to test for hip dysplasia? There are. And, and that it's a genetic, mm. there's genetic components exactly. to it. Exactly, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a hard and fast, uh, issue you when know, we talk about it you can they do typically score the hips on the on the uh, sire and dam so you know you know that they at least had good genetics but right. when we talk about genetics it's not exactly you have this you get that right. when you Absolutely. talk about your family you know, you know there's a lot of uh, uh, different variation, even just in brothers and siblings and, uh, and But sisters. all reputable breeders of those breeds should score their hips. Absolutely. So right. we want to look for that when you're doing that. And when we're talking about it, you know, we just want to make sure, in particular, our large breed dogs, we can cause hip dysplasia by putting them on the wrong diet early. And an oh. old fad used to be that we would feed them earlier on an adult food because we wanted to gain weight quicker. Mm -hmm. We actually want them on puppy food. The real key is the, is the mineral component, the calcium and phosphorus, is what oh. can actually develop hip dysplasia by making them grow too rapidly. So your veterinarian will always recommend recommend this, but making sure you're on a puppy food with a large breed dog for at least the first year, even up to a year and a half of the life is really, really important. You know, it's just another reason to keep your dog at the weight that they need to be. Yeah, and whether they've got hip dysplasia or not, yeah. we lose more than half our large breed dogs to orthopedic problems. So if we do find that they are not, uh, that they're overweight, it's just more work that those joints do. Right. And, and the you know, surgery is very expensive. Yes, the <laughs> surgery is very expensive. Real quick note, because uh, we're going to be looking at the weather again at the top of the hour. Weather is not uh, conducive to keeping your animals outdoors. No, and they, they can manage you know a lot of uh, a different weather pattern than we can, but when you're looking at zero degrees, and especially with this mm -hmm. wind chill, it will take you know, moments before they can get right. frostbite. And you can see those paws get frostbite yep. very quickly Outside, as well. Outside, so. do your business, come right back in. Exactly right. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Dustin, and thank you, Zoe. And again, we'll get, uh, watch for our weather update coming up at the top of the hour all day long today. Our 7 Eyewitness News meteorological team will be standing by for you. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with another edition of AM Buffalo.